I've been a throw up the sex in a Forte, yes, 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 strong Princess Ilka, yes. Oh, yeah, like the bitch right drove into my car. A park car, though, park car. Yeah, con la cara de yo no fui. Pretending she, whoa, I don't know, I'm old. Arrogant bitch attitude as I shall walk in, just like the dude came out of the store. Cynical, brutal, and violent. Yikes. Let me talk about Nico Watson now. Oh, Nico had a son. Okay, so Nico was an impositive narcissist, probably. Did I say Nico? Shigeko was an impositive narcissist, and then she got a son. She was like, me, 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 and what I have to say. But not me, 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 but the stuff is like this, and there is no other way. Well, great, if you're directing a unilateral one of those like seasonal things. Yeah, great. I mean, who else is there to talk about? Or with? Who makes choices? That's fine, whatever. Yeah, everybody would leave her doing. Yeah, she did something outrageous. She showed me a picture of a mezzo-soprano who she would hire, who actually did came and sang. And she told me, look at this face. And she was like super enthusiastic, strong, powerful. Yeah, a photo shot from some professional photographer. And the mezzo came and uh, that was the thing. Season means like serious stuff means like after summer to the next summer every month and the Prietos was the only family who was, uh, was invited to also participate that was like an extra thing because no nationals were invited because no one wanted to see national orchestras classical music not once I thought I would sing for them not once. Yeah, I, I wasn't ready to sing at the time. Not once did I consider that as an option. Because I don't need them for that. I'm in Cornavaca. I know the venues. I can hire myself. I don't need her. <laughs> she would invite orchestras or orchestras maybe knew about her. And that would send us like in the festi festival. Okay, I have to slow down. Just like in the Serventino Festival, artists would send their portfolio over and would invite themselves to be taken in consideration for any concert happening. So she got one of those, but she didn't got a tape or a CD or anything. The mezzo came sang and it was terrifying because she had like a voice in the higher. I can't, I haven't vocalized it. And then she would have in the lower part, totally unrelated to her higher register. Unprofessional, for saying the least. Now she had beautiful dark voice in the lower, I have to say so, yes I will. Beautiful dark voice, at least from my perspective. But then it was like a different person singing. I don't know where she came from. Was she Russian? I don't know, could be. I forgot. 
Yeah, mainly they came from Europe, by the way. They all came from Europe. Maybe that was one of those things. The Europeans going to Mexico and... I don't know how much they were paid. I have no idea. But she would give them lodging in terms of she would find in... Oh my God. All right, so here we go. So the newcomers were Americans. Amigos de la Musica, I think it was Impulse. I don't really know. But it was related somehow to the newcomers. So the newcomers would do a thing. It would be fashionable to host a home to visit. You had to actually pay for it, I guess. Mama, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> the fuck? Honestly. <laughs> to me. Talk about my ego. I show my house. It's like being an architectural digest, right? <laughs> I heard about it. I saw one of those because of the musicians. I accompanied them to their lodging and that's where I found out. They are gonna be lodged in ooh blah 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 house from blah 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 blah. It was large but it was also messy. So they had eat a room in that large house. So fame with fame, you know, coreando. Yeah, I guess <laughs> elbow to elbow. Wow. I saw it this year. No, that was an orchestra from Austria. Yes, Angere. They have actually recorded labels. Yeah, I have stories from each of them. You can hear them all. Let me, let's, let's allow this one to finish. It doesn't matter where I go. It's all very interesting. Well, I was connected to everything just because it happened to be occurring this way. Not because I was looking for it. Oh no, I wasn't thinking of singing for them. Yeah, I wasn't ready to sing. On the other hand, yeah, when I started to be ready it, uh, even if she would have been alive why would I want to go there it's like how to say it if I want to it's like going f from Mexico to the United States now you want me to go via Guatemala <laughs> it's like the fuck her why would I want to do such a thing I had access like anybody else to the venues mainly this one this one actually she never went to the border I was the one she never took the border that was the best of them all yeah, well, that's why I did my thing. So no, that was out of the question. Yeah, and people know each other. I didn't need it, her fan base because that was just mine too. Same people. There is nothing monetarily involved in being a director of a foundation, ever. Now she got a job, but she loved that job. I think she did really love that job. She liked what she did. She identified with the music. Well, she hired a person via Patreon. That was stupid. Never mind. But no one noticed, I guess. And they didn't care. Because you tell the idiots, oh, this is important because it comes from abroad, where the grass is green. <laughs> In beautiful Cornavaca. And they always say, oh, wow. But I wasn't impressed. But I don't talk. To whom, I, to whom am I going to talk about it? Okay, so there were two couples. I mentioned them. I will mention them again. To unknipped to make relation which were on the board of directors so they were like my home for a while when I was on these cocktails but Shigeko wasn't that warm <laughs> at all but they were so I was with the older ones a lot I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I have to engage in that first okay the older one was the one who sent me her brother from the north, the dummy, to have lunch with him once at Las Mañanitas. And the young couple was the guy who worked on the bank and she was a psychologist and he was hitting on me and telling me that he would like to come by my house one day on the weekend. What the fuck are you saying? Are you shitting me? Horrible. Yeah, and I, I, saw, I looked and that was actually at that movie we saw The Last Temptation of Christ for, I don't know, a bunch of people, everybody. So I seek ref refuge in her. I mean, I literally, I think I actually took her arm this time, or just about to, and clang into her arm, just like sisters, don't leave me alone with your stupid husband. <laughs> She's chasing me around, shit. Yeah, for, uh, not for everybody to see, yeah, that may be too, but man, I was with her. Disgusting shit. Yeah, that was, and because I saw them every month, at least, so after a while you become like family so, so to speak so i thought so that was out <laughs> so uh, the older couple was 
They were not older. They were just older than the younger couple. The younger couple was in their 30s, 40s, and these were in their 50s, maybe. Or something, 48 or something. Yeah. No, that wasn't my home. It's just when I was at, the, at these cocktails, although I might have been leading, uh, they were the people I could fall back to. I wasn't alone. We were like a group of people who knew each other, so to speak. Yeah, and I went also to the older couple's house. I remember her birthday a week after mine on April 28th. Yeah, I remember those things. I don't know his birthday. I remember Mirna's birthday on April 3rd 